Okay, I'll stop. Yeah, I love this box. This is upside down, but one of my probably, I think this is probably, this and the Dark Seed box are probably my most favorite Amiga game boxes. Yeah, the t shirt wasn't in the box. They're never in the box anymore. Look at this 50 frames per second, arcade quality scroll, 350 screens, 132 unique monsters. 13 levels of parallax scrolling and 900k of emotive, really honestly, some of the best music in a game. Two megabytes of com graphics compressed in two discs. A truly massive game. And it is. Games people play. Shadow of the Beast. Man, I walked into Electronics Boutique, saw this running. And then saw the box. He said, you got to be kidding me. Yep. This is where we have gotten. Paying even more money for the game 30 years later. The person that sold this said they did test the discs. Uh, those of you who paid close attention when I opened the box will notice something I think is really neat about this box. It includes two spots for cassettes. So you can open it back up. Open it up. So I don't know if this game ever was available on cassette. I know tapes were far more popular in the UK than in the United States. Um, and I, I wanted this for the box and the manual. So the manual's cool, the registration card's extra awesome. I mean, if, this, if these cassettes exist, I might try to hunt some down, but I never knew that they even came with cassettes. So that's that's cool. That makes this, to me, seem even extra cooler because this is like an even more rare version. We never really saw this in the United States. At least I, I never did. Um, it was always, you'd open this up and it was the t-shirt and then the, the two floppy disks like you saw. So, yeah. Just, just sharing my love of my most favorite Amiga game box and that awesome artwork. All right, guys, take care. Cue, looking left and right and then pushing the red button to turn off the camera.